so good afternoon. My topic for this week is actually music and the movie, but in other words, it's called movie soundtracks as we know. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to briefly talk about what those soundtracks do and how they impact the movie. Okay. Um, so to briefly define soundtrack, it's uh, the recorded music accompanying to the images of the motion picture, which sounds a little bit hard, but it's just um, saying that some kind of music is followed by um, a motion picture, which is the movie. And in other words, it's also called commercial rec recordings of those music. So I'm going to use soundtrack and music and um, interchangeably. And uh, so basically, uh, to simply say, music is used as a topic of the movie um, for some of the movies. and. We uh, we know some of the famous ones, and the first one is uh, August Rush, and it was released in 2003, I think. And the overall topic in the movie was about music because the main character, which is that uh, guy Freddie Highmore, um, is trying to search his parents, but he is um, using music to. Uh, to search his parents because he mm -hmm. is a really talented musician and uh, their parents were musicians so throughout the movie a lot of uh, soundtracks come into play and um, as we know The Begin Again is also another popular music uh, movie that was released last year and um, that movie was popular because not only because the music is the main topic, but also uh, real musicians actually starred in that movie. For example, Adam Levine from Maroon 5. Mm -hmm. And uh, the movie was a huge success because it uh, ended up with 63 million revenue, which is about Yuk <laughs> So it was a huge success. and. Um, music was an important part in that movie. And the um, second thing is that music and so soundtracks are used as um, contributors, which means they contribute to some kind of um, movie effects. So Forrest Gump, it was an old movie. Um, it was set during the like, 1990s, but the soundtracks of this um, movie actually uh, made this movie much more interesting because uh, a lot of famous artists were in that um, contributed to the soundtracks. For example, Simon and Garfunkel and um, they were really old uh, bands but they were popular in the US. And um, for Titanic, I'm pretty sure a lot of people even up to today know about uh, the soundtrack in Titanic, which was Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. And that uh, soundtrack was used in the movie to like dramatize their desperate love in the movie. Mm -hmm. So that was how another um, way the music was used in the movie. And third, um, I put it as a reminder, but I meant that music is used as um, used to uh, boost the brand images of some kind, some movies. And uh, in other words, Walt Disney movies are, are really, they utilize music really well in the movies. So when we hear the music, we just automatically remind ourselves with the movie. Mm -hmm. So for example, um, this is more recent one, the Pirates of Caribbean. And I actually, inserted music uh -huh. in there, but um, I'll just skip, um, but, um, and uh, a lot of old Disney movies like Beauty and the Beast, we are, a lot of people are familiar with the soundtrack because um, it was used often and it's still popular these days, so uh, Walt Disney is using music to um, like advertise their brand images and actually Disney has own recording company, it's Walt Disney Record Record um, that was 
established in 1950, so they have their own music company uh, to um, make music for the movies. So um, to just wrap up, um, I just explained how three uh, three ways how music can be uh, used and impact movies. Mm -hmm. So thank you.